What's happening guys, coming at you from downforsoundshop.com and in this video we're going to be talking about spider sag. But first, my name is Jonathan Price, owner and operator of downforsoundshop.com and this YouTube channel which is two of the fastest growing things in car audio. If you will, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you know every time we drop a video and you'll get it sent to your inbox and you'll be able to check it out first. All right, let's get into this. So we have a Hutchinson car audio speaker here in front of us for no particular reason other than you can see the spider very easily. So we have a question from Joe G. He says, I'm running some older Rockford Fosgate Power HX2 subs. I wanted to know how does spider sag affect the sub while playing? So what happens is you can see in this subwoofer right here, can you see the spider? right here so right here you have the spider right now this subwoofer is very stiff it's hard to push this down because one is made to deal with a lot of power if you have like a low power subwoofer like it'll be really soft you'll be able to move it easily but since this is a high power subwoofer you will have a stiffer spider sometimes you'll have multiple uh, spiders stuck on top of each other to make it even stiffer but over time, like he's talking about some older Rockford HX2 subs, I don't know how old those are, but what happens is after you've played them, this material right here gets wore out. So what happens is your cone starts sitting down lower. Like if you can see the spider right beside the voice coil right here, it starts sagging down like that because this wore out. So it's almost like anything else that gets wore out. It starts getting flappy and saggy so it's going to start sitting lower down in there and the spiders become a lot looser some people want this because your spider is getting broke in so the sub more moves more freely and easily so it's able to do what it does uh, probably on less power but that's the biggest thing that uh, spider sag causes is it's going to get over time if you just like say the subwoofer is like 10 years old and it's sagging like really bad you're it's probably not going to have as good of a frequency uh, response it's not going to have um it's not going to be able to handle a bunch of power like it probably once did because it's just wore out so this your cone and everything else is just going to be flopping like really easy especially if your box is a little big it's not going to give it a ton of control so uh, that's what causes it like usually it's time and playing the subwoofer for so long and it's just getting wore out The only way that I know of to fix this is to get a recone for the subwoofer if they even make one for the subwoofer you have uh, a lot of times like with the subwoofer being that old where you wear the spider out It takes a lot to wear a spider out. So if you have worn it out There's probably a good chance that there's not a recone available for it You might be able to find one But if it's that old they probably discontinued it and they'll offer for to upgrade you to a newer model subwoofer for a good price or whatever but Anyway, that's the only way I know of fixing it is reconing the subwoofer because you're gonna get all new top parts in a recone. Like you get every all the soft parts basically, your surround, your cone, dust cap, and your spider and your voice coil in here with the tensile lead. So all this stuff is gonna be brand new. So when you recone it, you're gonna be back to being this stiff like you did when you got it when it was brand new. So anyway, I hope this information has found you well. Again, if you have any other questions for me, feel free to ask them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them if I get a chance to see them. Appreciate you asking the questions and it helps me learn if it's something I don't know about and it could help you learn something if I do know about it so I can share the knowledge with you. Appreciate you joining me. We'll see you in the next video. Later. Yo, what's up guys? If you want to see more of the hot content that you just saw in that video, be sure to follow me on all my social media channels from YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, The Life of Price is my handle on there. Also have Down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget Snapchat, that's JPD4S. Check out all the hot content on there as well.